So this is a post from uh, Reuters. Largest, large ecosystems such as the Amazon rainforest and coral reefs could collapse faster than scientists had previously assumed, according to a study published on Tuesday. Researchers crunched data on changes in dozens of ecosystems to conclude that Caribbean coral reefs could collapse in 15 years while the Amazon rainforest could die back within 50 years, although that finding was questioned by some experts. Quote, the messages here are stark. We need to prepare for changes in our planet's ecosystems that are faster than we previously envisaged, said John Deering, professor in physical geography at the University of Southampton, who led the study here, which was published in the journal Nature Communications. While larger ecosystems take longer to collapse due to their sheer size, the rate at which they can degrade and then disappear can happen significantly faster than in small e systems, the study found. That's because the subsystems and habitats that make up larger systems can initially seem more resilient, but then unravel very rapidly when a tipping point is reached. According to the study, also by researchers from the School of Oriental and African Studies and the University of Bangor. The study looked at 42 ecosystems in total, four terrestrial, terrestrial, 25 marine and 13 freshwater, varying in size from small ponds to the Black Sea. Although a number of scientists said the research reinforced the urgency of protecting ecosystems, some also questioned whether conclusions based mostly on data from seas, rivers or lakes, could be extrapolated to the Amazon. Erika Berengue, a senior research associate at the University of Oxford and Lancaster University, said the study was undermined by the fact that the authors had only included four terrestrial ecosystems in their data set, none of which was a tropical rainforest. Quote, it is very unlikely if not dystopian, to expect an area half the size of Europe will experience a complete shift in vegetation in just 50 years, end quote, Berengio said. While there is no doubt that the Amazon is at risk and that a tipping point is likely, such inflated claims do not help either science or policymaking, she said. So one would have to actually um, find out what are the stakeholders backing that particular scientist. Nevertheless, the findings are very are likely to amplify concerns that recent recent fires in the Amazon could weaken the rainforest's ability to withstand climate change, the University of Southampton said. And also, not just recent fires, well, the recent fires also are caused by burning back of the Amazon rainforest for animal agriculture. One point, uh, two point five acres are cleared every minute in the Amazon rainforest um, since Bolsonaro has come in to power and that is mostly for animal agriculture and some of it is for soy to feed animals in animal agriculture and that's why it's so important one of the many many reasons why it's so important for us to go vegan before um, Bolsonaro got in it was about an acre a minute was being cleared of the Amazon rainforest. So unless we're vegan, we're directly, directly contributing to the clearing of the Amazon rainforest, which is the lungs of the planet. Quote, the implications of this study for the Amazon are terrifying, end quote, said Alexandra Antonelli, science director at the Royal Botanics Gardens, Q. Quote, unless urgent action is taken now, we may be on the brink of losing the world's largest and most biodiverse rainforest, which has evolved for at least 58 million years and sustains the lives of tens of millions of people, end quote, Antonelli said. That's quite a frightening uh, article. And um, so one of the things we can do is go vegan, and you can check out my comprehensive vegan resource in podcast form called howtogovegan.org, and that will assist you in making the ethical uh, decision to go vegan and from all of that from that position one everything else follows so thanks so much for watching my name is trish roberts you're watching faint signals from vega please subscribe if you haven't already thanks for watching till next time bye for now